Okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Chris Surratt here from A for Adventure. And Jan LaPierre from A for Adventure. And we're very excited to be here. Before we get started, we do want to make uh, an acknowledgement that we are on Mi'kmaq, the uh, unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. So thank you for having us. Uh, we're also here at the Wooden Monkey Restaurant in beautiful downtown Dartmouth. As an organization, as a company, A for Adventure aims to always do our best to try to connect people with nature. And that's why we are absolutely so excited to be here today because this announcement so is in line with the values of our company mm -hmm. and the values of all Nova Scotians. Yeah, and we love Nova Scotia. We love exploring this province and to hear you know, what is going to happen here today, this announcement, I think everyone's going to be really excited uh, to protect more land in Nova Scotia, which is something that, that Jay and I are super proud to be a part of today. So I think we'll get things rolling right away um, and introduce our first speaker of the morning, uh, Mr. Rick Emberley, who is the Nova Scotia Nature Trust Board Chair. So Rick, want to come up? Thanks very, very much, gents. Uh, welcome everybody, it's a pleasure. And uh, I guess we're working with the restrictions of technology, but it's great to have an audience far and wide uh, for this wonderful uh, conservation announcement. I want to uh, take um, or make a special note of welcome uh, to the Honorable Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Jonathan Wilkinson, our mayor, Halifax's mayor, Mike Savage, uh, Maeve Boyne and our hosts uh, from uh, A for Adventure. Uh, the Nature Trust, this is kind of an interesting timing for us because the Nature Trust is celebrating its 25th year operations in the province and uh, with our dedication to the conservation of natural spaces throughout the province. And uh, we're delighted with the progress that's been made over the years uh, in that respect, and even maybe more so in very, very recent times. But it's only because of the dedication of an outstanding staff, uh, wonderful support from across the province and beyond for that matter, and uh, the dedicated service of a, a group that volunteers consistently and with a fair bit of passion uh, for our board and our board of directors, of course. Uh, with the support of many of the folks that are uh, following our announcement here today, um, we wanted to, I think, uh, send out a, a particular thanks as we launch this special events, or special event, excuse me, and just simply to highlight that uh, the Nature Trust has protected over 120 of Nova Scotia's most significant and treasured national areas, encompassing over 15,000 acres across the province. And uh, I think with the wonderful work of our uh, board and staff at the moment, uh, we're about to top that in many, many ways. So we're really, really thrilled uh, to announce and share with you the news of this sort of crowning achievement of sorts and uh, sort of kickstart, if you like, the next 25 uh, years. And to share the details of that story, I'd like to introduce our executive director, who I prefer to call our president. Uh, and please welcome uh, Bonnie Sutherland. Bonnie? All right. Well, thank you so much, Rick, and thank you to all of you uh, who are joining us uh, today here and online. In the midst of, of really troubling times, there has been one unexpected shining light, and that has been nature. Nature has been a real antidote for the anxiety and the stress and the isolation of the pandemic and of the tragedies we faced in Nova Scotia. One of the first things the Premier did after the lockdown was to open our parks and protected areas. And ever since, we have been hiking and paddling and going to the beach like never before. Uh, you can't even buy a canoe or a bike these days because they're selling out that fast. We've been rediscovering just how much spending time in nature brings us joy. How being outdoors makes our kids happy. It brings our families together how good nature is for our health, mentally and physically. 
and how nature heals and restores and inspires us. So we've discovered that we need nature now more than ever. And all of this good stuff is happening at a time when our Earth is facing a growing climate emergency and alarming biodiversity loss. Our wild spaces and species are threatened and need action now. We're hearing more and more reports of how much we need to do more and we need to do it much more quickly. So the Nova Scotia Nature Trust is once again stepping up, doubling up actually. So on behalf of the staff and board of the Nature Trust, I'm absolutely thrilled to formally announce our commitment to double our protected areas by 2023. So in our first quarter century, as Rick said, we protected 15,000 acres. We aim to double that to 30,000 acres in just a few years. So twice the wild by 2023. And what will this look like? Uh, well, it's going to look really awesome. Uh, we'll be building on our signature projects, uh, so protecting more lands in the beautiful Mabu Highlands and on the St. Mary's River, in Wentworth Valley and the Hunter Wild Islands, and right here, urban wildlands right here in the city, like the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Lakes. Uh, we'll be protecting more uh, habitat for our species at risk, um, from turtles and terns to marten and moose. And we'll also be adding brand new protected areas, coastal lands and islands that are really important for our beloved birds, rare and amazing gypsum landscapes of sinkholes and caves and rare plants and bats, and towering old growth forests, pristine lakes and rivers. Nature has been there for us when we needed it most, and now it's our turn, it's our responsibility to step up and ensure its future. Together, we can double the space for nature and double the special places for all of us to enjoy. I'll share more about the how of this big initiative, but first a story about why we should save twice the space for nature. Thank you. Well, folks, if you have not been paying attention, this is truly groundbreaking, truly exciting news. Nova Scotia, albeit a very small province, is a world-class destination. And that's what gets us so excited about it every time we think about it. Because the amount of diversity that we have amongst our shores is truly the inspiration of the world. Double the lands, that is unbelievable news. We're very excited, uh, like I said, to be here and get to share this with you guys. So thank you very much, Bonnie. This is unbelievable. But we have a really special guest right now. We have uh, a 12 year old, uh, Maeve, who is, not only is she, does she enjoy nature, but she's taken it upon herself. She's a grade seven student at Gorsberg High School, junior high school. Uh, she's been so inspired by one of Nature Trust's lands on, on a field trip there that she decided that she wanted to do something. Uh, she raised money, not only her, but got together and did a 100 Kids Who Care project in Halifax. She's a keen nature lover, and particularly I heard that animals might be her favorite thing in nature. So without further ado, maybe you want to come up here and share a story? Awesome. Come on up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maeve Boyne, and today I'm here in support of the Nova Scotia Nature Trust's new campaign. I first heard about the Nova Scotia Nature Trust two years ago when I went to 100 Wild Islands. We went out on a boat and when we got to the island it was so beautiful, so peaceful and so calm. We could only hear our own voices and the birds singing. It was so amazing. We need to save more places like that and knowing that the no na sorry, and knowing that the Nature Trust is making that possible makes me so happy. As a kid in 2020, I have been going through a lot of stress about climate change and our environment. Knowing that the environment in our future could be dangerous and unhealthy is scary. The Nature Trust help the, helps the environment so much. They are doing everything they can to protect land, and by doing so, they are not only helping the environment, but making me feel safer and less worried about my future. The Nova Scotia Nature Trust is an amazing organization and I support them 100%. 
They are doing wonders for the province, and it is so important for Nova Scotians to support the Nature Trust's campaign to double the amount of land that they protect. Thank you. Well, thank you, Maeve. Uh, it's so inspiring to see you and other young people speaking up um, and taking action for nature, and, and we're really, really grateful. So you all may be wondering how we can possibly achieve such an audacious goal. Doubling 25 years of conservation in just a few. While we've never shied from bold ambitions at the Nature Trust, we couldn't even begin to contemplate something this big, if not for the vision and leadership of the Government of Canada and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that they are providing. The government has recognized the severity of our environmental crises, and they're leading the charge for action. Uh, they've made an ambitious, exciting commitment to protect 17% of Canada by the end of this year, 25% of Canada by 2025, and they're working towards 30% by 2030. To get there, the government made the single largest investment in biodiversity in Canadian history, $1.3 billion. And they have already invested significantly in our campaign. This funding comes in part through the Canada Nature Fund Challenge for a major collaboration that we're really excited to be part of. Uh, it's led by the province in cooperation with the Nature Conservancy, Indigenous and other community partners. And also funding through the um, Land Trust Conservation Fund, the Priority Places Program and the Habitat Stewardship Program. So through these innovative government initiatives, we also have a time-limited opportunity to leverage even more federal funds over the next two years. So huge thanks uh, to our government partners. We're honored to have Canada's Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Jonathan Wilkinson, joining us to celebrate with a special video message. Hello, I'm Jonathan Wilkinson, Canada's Minister of Environment and Climate Change. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Nova Scotia Nature Trust and its partners on the work that has been done towards conserving and protecting lands and waters in Nova Scotia. It takes foresight and leadership from residents and concerned citizens to get to the point where we can now better protect significant habitat for species at risk and indeed all biodiversity in this important area. You have set an ambitious goal, aiming to double the amount of land you have protected in 25 years in just the next three years. This important work certainly will take commitment from so many, the Nature's Trust volunteers and contributors, the province, the Mi'kmaq, and the federal government. Our government is very pleased to support this work through investments from the Canada Nature Fund, and I very much applaud your dedication and hard work to raise funds, the funds necessary to accomplish it, and to see it through to completion. We need ambitious goals all across this country to help Canada in its desire and, and in its need to conserve a quarter of its land and a quarter of its oceans by 2025. Canada is certainly striving to be a world leader in biodiversity protection and conservation around this world. And certainly we've all seen how increasingly important this is given the declines that we are witnessing in global biodiversity. I am looking very much forward to our continued collaboration and again, I thank you and congratulations to everyone. Well, thank you again uh, to the Government of Canada and particularly to Minister Wilkinson for that uh, kind message and, and inspiring words about the, the, the challenge we all have ahead. Um, our, our other key partner in this campaign is the Nova Scotia Crown Share Land Legacy Trust. With so much of Nova Scotia in private ownership and so much of our biodiversity concentrated on those lands, the province recognized the need to really accelerate private land conservation. So in 2008, they created the, the, the Crown Chair Land Legacy Trust. And like the Canada Nature Fund, it has been an absolute game changer for biodiversity conservation and the work of the Nature Trust in Nova Scotia. And with both the Government of Canada and the Land Legacy Trust ready to invest in our campaign, 
Right now, we have an extraordinary opportunity for action. But with both set to expire in 2023, we have a window of opportunity right now. So today, on behalf of the Nature Trust, I'm thrilled to announce and publicly launch a campaign to raise $20 million to make doubling our protected areas possible by 2023. And to succeed, we need your help. We're asking Nova Scotians and everyone who loves Nova Scotia's nature to help raise $4 million. Through our key partners, we aim to match every dollar you donate four to one by uh, leveraging through, through our key partners. So your $100 gift means $500 to save nature. $1,000 means $5,000 to double our spaces for nature. But saving this much land in such a short time and raising $20 million is going to be hard, a very big challenge. So we hope each of you watching today will step up to donate, will help to raise funds, uh, to volunteer, and to help spread the word about this unmissable opportunity we have to make a big, tangible, and lasting difference for nature. Together, we can save twice the wild by 2023. Thank you. Well, this just gets more and more exciting as the morning progresses. Folks, truly, this is a wonderful day for Nova Scotia. Now, we are obviously extremely excited to be part of this campaign, but we kind of want to break down three really key reasons that it is indeed such an exciting time. So first of all, it's the urgency. I mean, we speak certainly from ourselves and our organization, A4 Adventure, but I believe all Nova Scotians recognize the urgency that we need to take action to protect our environment and the natural beauty of this beautiful province. Second, there is an opportunity for action. So many Nova Scotians are unfortunately discouraged by the state of our natural environments, and this is the chance to not only protect but recognize the wonderful work that has been done and the wonderful work that will be done to ensure for generations that Nova Scotia remains the beautiful place that it is. And third, for those people who are mathematically challenged like myself, I'm going to explain this to you again. This is about the leveraging power of dollars. So you donate $1, that puts into action four more dollars. So every dollar spent, Every dollar spent will be matched by another $4. So using that math and using that power, we can see this campaign become truly successful. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we're also really excited to announce today, Jan and I and A for Adventure, that throughout this whole campaign, we are going to be sharing and showcasing all of the beautiful lands that Nature Trust already has and the ones that they're trying to get um, to help kind of bring these places to you. So a lot of them, you know, a lot of the places that Nova Scotia Nature Trust has you might have heard of one of them uh, recently, the uh, the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Lakes area, which is just 20 minutes from downtown Halifax. This has been an, an unbelievably uh, imp important area for protection, and there's been a lot of progress there. The Nature Trust has just secured um, the opportunity to save a really important piece of that whole project as well. And it really is one of North America's largest intact urban wilderness areas, which is super exciting right here in Halifax. These are the kind of places that we need, and these are the kind of places that we're ex excited as a company to be able to help bring to you guys so you can, everyone can see for themselves just how beautiful these places are and how important they are to protect. So, you know, organizations and individuals have been working for decades to protect this very special place in our city, Blue Mountain Birch Cove Lakes, and, and to see it all actually happening right now is just very impressive. Um, and we're very excited to be, uh, to be a part of that too. So, um, the really exciting part about that particular piece of land is that we're super excited to announce today that oh, there's only $67,000 left to go to protect that space. There's been so much work been done, millions of dollars been spent to, to help protect it through generous supports of major partners, including the city of Halifax uh, and the citizens who have helped to kind of donate and, and make sure these that place remains protected forever. Uh, Mayor Mike Savage is here with us as well. Um, and he's been an amazing ally in this whole effort to keep that area protected. Uh, Mayor, uh, if you mind saying a few words to everybody. Awesome.
Thank you very much, uh, guys. Uh, pleasure to be here with the um, federal minister, with uh, Bonnie, uh, <coughs> excuse me, with uh, old buddy Rick Emberley, the chair of the board. Maeve, awesome. Well done. She is a young lady who cares. In fact, she belongs to an organization, right? The 100 Kids Who Care uh, and Loves Environment. Uh, and uh, the guys from A for Adventure, thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be here. You know, we, we know that this pandemic and the challenges of the past several months have really made us stop and take a look and take stock of what is truly important in our lives. And our love for nature, our need for natural environments, for mental and physical well-being are on the top of the list. As we continue to intensify development closer to the urban center here in HRM, it becomes even more important to provide access to municipal parks and to open natural green space. We're fortunate to have large tracts of wild natural areas within our boundaries, and I'm very proud of the progress that Regional Council and our staff have made along with our partners, like the Nature Trust, federal and provincial governments, and many stakeholders in protecting some of these incredible, still wild areas like the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Lakes Wilderness Area, the Purcells Cove Backlands, and the 100 Wild Islands. There's been a lot of work happening these past several months on the BMBC project with our own HRM staff working with the Nature Trust and partners on mapping and collaborative planning that will greatly benefit this important urban wilderness area. I want to acknowledge again uh, Bonnie and the conversations we had late in July to make sure that this opportunity didn't pass. Other colleagues like Ray Plord at the uh, EAC and uh, Diana Whalen and uh, uh, Mary others who did great work uh, in ensuring that we took advantage of that opportunity. Our green network plan also speaks to the municipality's commitment to managing our open space and maintaining sustainable ecosystems for the future. For your kids and your grandkids, Maeve, as well as for you. Building and maintaining an interconnected network of open spaces like the Blue Mountain Birch Cove ensures the protection of viable populations and ecosystems. These ecosystems provide fresh drinking water, they provide clean soil, and of course improved air quality. Outdoor recreation is also a key theme in the Green Network Plan. Parks and open spaces provide opportunities for activity as well as representing cultural and community characteristics. So the Nova Scotia Nature Trust is now so close to reaching its fundraising goal for the project. Just $67,000 left. I think Rick could write a check for that today. Of the total $2.8 million budget. So I want to encourage everybody to support the final push in this exciting new campaign. Projects like this not only benefit us today, but more importantly, they create a lasting legacy that will provide benefits for generations to come. Thanks to the support of so many who have contributed to the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Wilderness Park project, those lands will look the way they do now in 100 years. So congratulations to the Nature Trust and partners for launching today's exciting and ambitious new campaign, and thank you for your commitment to protecting our natural spaces. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Wilal Yuk. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Mayor. I'm sure I can reach down and grab that for you. Another huge thanks to our wonderful Mayor Mike Savage for your ongoing enthusiastic support of the Nature Trust for the Blue Mountain Wilderness Area, for protecting wild spaces here across the city, and for your ongoing support of the province at large. So thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. That concludes today's announcement. And again, I mean, you can tell that our excitement really is truly so, uh, I really think we're at a 10 out of 10 here. <laughs> now, we want you to stick around though, because in a minute we're gonna be sharing a very special video that uh, really is special to us, largely because we just are so absolutely thrilled about this opportunity. Now, on behalf of the Nova Scotia Nature Trust, we want to thank our speakers one more time. That's Minister Wilkinson, that's the mighty mayor, Mike Savage, and of course, our superstar, Maeve Boyne. Yeah, and I just want to make a point of clarification as well with that $67,000 left for the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Wilderness Area. That is a really critical part that the Nature Trust is trying to protect. So again, 
the matching dollars right now with the power of that four to one. Let's let's get in there and let's start making those donations and make sure that remains protected. Uh, also, huge thanks to the uh, the funders to date, which is the government of Canada, uh, the Nova Scotia Crown Share Land Legacy Trust, the City of Halifax and everyone who has donated um, from their own pockets to help make this happen. Again, with this opportunity, let's keep this momentum going um, and, and really start to move forward in this, uh, in this, in this area to help protect the land. Um, there's also you know, uh, other partners to thank as well. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, that includes the Nova Scotia um, government, the Nature Conservancy of Canada, Indigenous partners, municipalities, and other conservation, community, and academic organizations. So a big thanks to everyone watching online as well. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. Uh, and for the media that's here as well, helping to spread this story to far and wide corners of Nova Scotia and across the province and across uh, Canada as well. Um, we love Nova Scotia. We love the nature of Nova Scotia. And we recognize this opportunity. And we do not want to let this pass us by. Um, big thanks to the Nova Scotia Nature Trust for all of the work they have done over the last 25 years and continue to do. Uh, this is a major, you know, lofty goal and I, and I love the ambition here and, um, you know, like Bonnie said and like we've talked about here today, the urgency is now. We need to act now to make this protected. Uh, we can double the space for nature, that's super exciting. And I guess without further ado, you know, double the nature, double the wild, you know, what else can be doubled? There's a little video that we're going to share with you now uh, to close things out. So again, thank you very much for being here, and uh, let's let's get to help uh, make this happen. What would you do with twice the nature? Twice the hiking. Twice the birding. Twice the awesome adventures. The Nova Scotia Nature Trust has protected more than 15,000 acres of beautiful, irreplaceable natural spaces all across Nova Scotia over the past 25 years. With your help, we can double that space for nature by 2023. Twice the inspiration. Twice the kayaking. Twice the canoeing. Twice the space to escape and just breathe. Right now, every dollar you donate unlocks four more dollars in matching funds. Imagine 30,000 acres of the Nova Scotia you love, protected forever. Twice the habitat for wildlife. Aww. Twice the fishing. Twice the surfing. Twice the family fun. And twice the space for our kids and grandkids to find wonder. So what will you do with twice the wild?